I've long said America wasn't built by Wall Street. It was built by the middle class, and unions built the middle class. Unions put power in the hands of workers. They level the playing field. They give you a stronger voice for your health, your safety, higher wages, protections from racial discrimination and sexual harassment. Unions lift up workers, both union and non-union, and especially black and brown workers. I've made it clear, I made it clear when I was running that my administration's policy would be to support unions organizing and the right to collectively bargain. I'm keeping that promise. You should all remember the National Labor Relations Act didn't just say that unions are allowed to exist. It said that un we should encourage unions. So let me be really clear. It's not up to me to decide whether anyone should join a union. But let me be even more clear. It's not up to an employer to decide that either. The choice to join a union is up to the workers. Full stop. Full stop. Today and over the next few days and weeks, workers in Alabama and all across America are voting on whether to organize a union in their workplace. This is vitally important, a vitally important choice as America grapples with the deadly pandemic, the economic crisis, and the reckoning on race, what it reveals the deep disparities that still exist in our country. And there should be no intimidation no coercion, no threats, no anti-union propaganda. No supervisor, no supervisors should confront employees about their union preferences. You know, every worker should have a free and fair choice to join a union. The law guarantees that choice. And it's your right, not that of an employer. It's your right. No employer can take that right away. So make your voice heard. God bless you all, and may God protect the workers and their families who are trying to figure out how to make it, make it fairly. Thank you.